Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do another reading for September. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is you and the other person, somebody that you're thinking about, okay? So you pick a side, whatever side is yours, okay? We're just going to see what comes up. All right, Sagittarius, what do we got for Sagittarius now? I've been trying to, for this segment, I've been trying to just, you know, not really do the uh, channeling. I was just trying to use the cards. But for you, <laughs> it's not happening. Because I, the Nine of Wands is like hitting me in the my head. Okay? It's like hitting me in my third eye. It's like I can't get it out of me. I mean, I can't stop. It's coming for you guys. And I mean, you guys are up next for the last ten minutes. Okay? I've been sitting here, oh, Sagittarius is next. There's no brainer, Sagittarius is next, okay? Life challenges. You guys are dealing with some life challenges this month. And uh, I think that, you know, you may have been dealt something very harsh and there could be some hard feelings that you're dealing with. You may be trying to find some sort of strength to deal with this um, as tactfully as you can. There could be even some anger. You could be angry with, with life, you know, I'm not sure if that's the case or not. Maybe you, this could be the other person as well because this is you and the other person. So if it's not you, you could be dealing with an angry individual who's angry with life and they're bringing that on to you. This could go either way. I feel as though you guys are going through some sort of spiritual renewal and that is not an easy task. So keep that in mind. Um, what do we got for Sagittarius? September. Separation. Well, 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 well. Now, separation doesn't have to be from a lover. Okay, it can be. Obviously, this is an angel romance deck. But this can be a separation from somebody that you are dealing with. Whoever you're asking about. Okay? This could be a family member. This could be somebody that you, your job. I mean, whatever the case. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon, okay? It's on the horizon. Sagittarius. What do we got for Sagittarius? I don't know if you're dealing with an Aquarius or a Libra or a Cancer or a Pisces. I really feel Aquarius is strongly. Um, Pisces. Um, Cancer or Libra. That's what I feel. I don't know if that's who you're dealing with, but those are, I don't know. Um, something is coming to a halt. This is not planned. If something hasn't been planned efficiently, uh, somebody may not have passed a test. Somebody may not be being practical. This is an injustice here. Somebody's probably hasn't been telling the truth. Maybe somebody has not treated you fairly. There's been some unfair treatment. Somebody doesn't want to be held accountable for their actions. Somebody may not be telling the truth. Wondering if it's worth it. This person is wondering if it's worth it. Wondering if they should even stay. This person is contemplating moving on, contemplating going someplace else. This person probably sees an exciting opportunity. This person um, tends to act impulsively. This person... Um, let's get another one. Woo! Look at that. Has a new opportunity. Has a new exciting opportunity. This person is very passionate. This person is very driven, confident. This person is wondering if they should continue staying where they're at. They see another opportunity. This person may be receiving some sort of invitation or opportunity to go someplace else. This person may receive an opportunity to start over someplace else. They may get this new vision. Ooh. Whew, seven of Swords, this is um, very sneaky. Be careful. 
be really careful because you could be dealing with somebody who is very sneaky. You could deal with some. You could be dealing with somebody who is shady. Somebody who is. Um, God, what is the word for it? It's right on the tip of my tongue too. What is that? Oh, what is the word? What is the word? Oh. It's like conspiracy, but that's not the word. This person, um, oh, you know, when they set something up, this person set something up and they get in trouble for it. And maybe it is conspiracy. I can't think of the freaking word. Um, be careful. Be careful. You could be dealing with somebody who is very sneaky and they have ulterior motives. Put that up. Put that. Just keep that in mind. Uh, let's go back over here. Reciprocation, giving, Queen of Wands reversed, no confidence, no ambition, no drive, no desire to give to this unfair situation that is going nowhere. Oh my God. So we have somebody over here who has no interest to give to an unjust situation that has proven to have no stability and no security. So we got somebody over here that is basically giving up. It's like, let's get the rest of them. I'm letting this go. I am letting, this is letting go. I'm letting this, I'm not going to sacrifice my time and my energy needlessly for this unjust situation where I'm doing all the work and I'm not getting what I deserve out of it. Somebody is not getting the justice that they deserve or they didn't get the justice they deserve. They were dealing probably with a trickster over here that hurt them and it's not paying off. Yeah. Nine of Cups. Dissatisfied. We definitely have somebody over here that is dissatisfied. They're looking for something more emotionally fulfilling. This person right here is like, I'm, I'm ready. This, okay, this person over here is like, um, is looking for something more satisfying. This person has become enlightened. This is, this is, this is, this is bullshit. This is bullshit. So we got a person over here that is not going to give their energy away and sacrifice their time and energy in a situation that is not going to pay off. It's like it's been, uh, really, this person's really been trying to give to a situation where they're just really not getting what they deserve. Okay, they're not getting what they deserve. And with that, that hangman reversed, it's, it's like, I've sacrificed enough already. There's been too much sacrifice. Needless, needless sacrifice. Over here, this person is wondering if they should take a new opportunity. This person may be offering this person a new opportunity. I don't know. Ooh, you definitely need to be careful. I, I, I feel like you are dealing with somebody who is untrustworthy. I think that you got somebody. It could be Libra. Like I said, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It could be. It could be dealing with another fire sign or Pisces, like I said. Um, you're de dealing with somebody who may be a thief. Somebody may be... You've got to be careful. You definitely need to be careful. Don't let your, you know, fantasy or your illusions get in the way. I feel like you have somebody here that is going to offer you something attractive. It's going to look really, 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 really good. And you're going to need to think about it. This person is deceptive. This person, it probably won't grow. It probably won't grow. So be really careful. You may be offered an opportunity that feels good. It looks good. It's attractive to you. But it's some sort of illusion. Okay, just be really careful. I think that you are dealing with a, a some sort of thief or a liar or a shady, sneaky individual who is untrustworthy. They're going to present you with something that looks good, but it is not solid and it is not going to grow. So you need to be careful. I feel like you're this this over here. Somebody has been treated unfairly and they have an opportunity. You know, it's like, I want to have it all. And it may, like I said, I feel like you're looking, this person is looking for deep fulfillment. You know, I just don't want to waste my time anymore on this 
unjust situation. And I think this person, you know, maybe, you know, <laughs> hoping that things are going to progress. Things are going to get better. I think that, um... You need to defend yourself. Whoever this person is needs to defend themselves. You need to stand up for yourself. You need to hold your head up high. It's almost like you need to demand respect. You need to demand respect. This person does. I feel like a lot of times we got somebody over here that it doesn't get treated fairly because you you give too much. You give too much. You do. It's like you you give too much and you're not getting anything in return. So I feel like you need to really protect yourself. You need to stand up for yourself. You need to demand respect here. I feel like you're dealing with multiple competitors. They may be even jealous of you. This person over here has a lot of competition. And it's causing a lot of um, conflict within. And it's like, it, it, it's not fair. It's not fair. This is not fair. It's not. This whole, this over here, somebody is being treated unfairly. And you really need to stand your ground. You need to speak up for yourself. You need to have no fear. You need to... Uh, you're probably dealing with some conflict for sure. You're dealing with somebody probably that is, is jealous of you. That is keeping you on your toes. This person is dealing with... I think it's an air sign. Libra. I really feel like it's an air sign. We definitely have an air sign here and whatever. I don't know if you guys are dealing with an air sign, but it looks like things, and I don't like to keep saying that, that is unjust. This person doesn't treat you fairly. This person um, doesn't really probably have a lot of respect, and you're, gonna, you're going to need to protect yourself, stand up for yourself. Don't let this person walk all over you. Do not. Do not. I think there's an opportunity for deep fulfillment if you stand up for yourself, if you protect yourself, if you demand respect from whoever this person is. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who is a really big talker. This person is angry. Whether it's you or the, some, this person over here, you know, is dealing with a person who is angry. Like, it's funny that I said that at the beginning. They're angry with the world and they take that, their frustrations out on you. It's like they're stealing your energy. You're dealing with an energy thief for absolutely positively sure. Somebody is dealing with an energy thief that is draining them. It's draining them. Maybe it's time to separate from this energy thief. And there's indecision. It's like there's somebody is undeci undecided as to whether they should separate. Well, I'm telling you right now, this stress kills. Protect yourself. Over here, this person is the energy thief. This person may project themselves to be somebody who, you know has a lot to offer that somebody that is exciting somebody that is very passionate but they don't they're not stable they're not solid they can't really grow things for long period of time this person is an energy thief this person is untrustworthy this person may have addictions this person is an illusionist this person um is troubled okay this person is troubled this person um has issues, has mental issues. This person um, can't think clearly. This person has anxiety. This person is a bully. I mean, this person is a bully. And it's like, because they have such a troublesome life, they like to pass that. A misery loves company. I mean, hey, that's what this is. We got a miserable individual over here who is abusive. That is, it's almost like trying to bring another person down to make themselves feel better. This person, this person is emotionally unavailable. This person um, 
has secrets. This person, you don't even know everything about this person. I think this person has addictions. Definitely. This person has, addic has addictions and they present themselves to be somebody that they are not. Be very, 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 very careful with this person. This person is not honest in any way, shape, or form. This person uh, makes a lot of bad, poor decisions. They are emotionally guarded. They're emotionally withdrawn. They're, they're not, they, their heart is not emotionally available. They're blocking any sort of emotion. This person is very cold. I think, Sagittarius, you need to protect yourself from whoever this person is that doesn't care about your feelings. They're only in it for what you can provide to them. It's almost like they want you to take care of them, maybe even sexually, I'm not sure. But there's no love here and there's nothing solid. Whatever this is, I just flipped the deck. It's not compatible. And you have another opportunity because that's what this card means, upright or reversed. But this is a card of consequences. There's consequences for the choices that you make. You can choose another option. But that is your choice. So I feel like you are dealing with somebody who does not have your best interest at heart. And you may be in denial over it. You may be. So, most of you are dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Some are dealing with a Pisces. Some are dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dealing with another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Libra is very prominent. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius is very prominent here. Um, Pisces is here. Cancer is here. Um, I think that this person has an opportunity for deep fulfillment once they stand up for themselves. So we got somebody over here that really needs to stand up for themselves and demand respect. And if that includes separating from somebody that you are not compatible with, I suggest you get on your high horse and trot on out of there. And that is my advice. Good luck.